So if we look at this example here on the left, we are simply getting the square root of 100. This can also be expressed as 100 to the power of 1 divided by 2, using the number 2 as the divisor. So we have the fifth root of 100. We can also express this as 100 to the power of 1 divided by 5. So for any root function, we can have a as the root of x being expressed as x to the power of 1 divided by a. So if we look at 2 to the power of 2, we get 4. 2 to the power of 3, we get 8. 2 to the power of 4, we get 16. So we want to get the root of 16 such that we want to get the fourth root of 16. We can go 16 to the power of 1 divided by 4 in the brackets. And now we get back 2, such that we've got 2 to the power of 4, and now we've got the fourth root of 16 being equal to 2. So if we want the cube root of 8, we can put 8 to the power of, in the braces, 1 divided by 3. And now we get 2. We have to remember that sometimes there is a rounding error, so we did 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 3 we'll actually get back 9.999 recurring. In this case, we can just round off the result, such that we use round, then 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 3.